You know, part of learning how to use Articulate Storyline means learning all of the little secrets and intricacies that can help make your workflow and development process more efficient. And that couldn't be any more true than with the ability to undock and redock panels, which is what I'll show you how to do in this video. Stick around. Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. You know, when you're first getting up and running with Articulate Storyline, one of the things you need to understand is that you know, some of the most powerful features are those that are hidden in plain sight. And you know, if you're someone like myself who prefers to work with dual monitors, you'll wanna know how to undock and redock panels. So let me show you how. All right, so here I am in Articulate Storyline where I've been working on this project for a client. And you know, I'm working with dual monitors and one of the great ways to make my process more efficient is by undocking panels. So for example, on this slide 2.1 here in this project, I have this timeline here that I'm working on where I'm doing all sorts of different animations and syncing up stuff um, with audio narration. And it would be really helpful if I could look at my timeline on a much bigger window. And this is a great use case for undocking panels and storyline. So you'll notice here on my timeline panel here on the very, very upper right hand corner, I have this little icon that looks like two windows here. And if I click on this, it allows me to undock that window uh, from the interface. And what's cool about this is now that I've undocked it, I can literally move it to a separate window and make it much bigger, which is going to make it easier for me to work in my timeline, right? And of course, once I'm done, I can bring it back over here to Storyline and click the button here to redock it uh, back into the interface. Now, that's a really simple and common use case for undocking and redocking panels in Storyline. And you can undock and redock all sorts of different panels in Storyline. So for example, I can undock that timeline like I just showed you. I can also undock my scenes panel. I can undock my triggers panel. I can undock my slide layers panel. And I can have all of these windows all over the place to help me, you know, uh, better focus in on what I need to focus in on. Now, while it's cool that you can undock and redock panels, what you can't do is you can't reorganize the interface. So for example, if I wanted slide layers way over here on the left, I can't you know, customize the location of it, but I can undock them and move them to a second monitor if I happen to be working with one. All right, so that's how easy it is to undock panels and Storyline um, to help you know, improve your workflow. Now, one of the common things that happens is, you know, when you undock different panels, you might lose it, right? You know, you might put your slide layers panel way over here and your timeline elsewhere, and you might go, oh my gosh, how do I get everything back to the way that it was, right? Now, of course, you can manually redock panels by clicking on the, you know, undock redock button on that panel. But if you've completely lost the panel completely and you need to just put everything back to normal, it's really, really easy. All we have to do is go to the view tab in the ribbon. And if we move some things out of the way here, you'll notice an option here for redock all windows. And if I click on that, it redocks everything back to where it was supposed to be. Pretty easy peasy. All right, so that's how to undock and redock panels in Articulate Storyline. And again, it's one of the simple features that can make a really big difference in your development workflow. So if you wanna continue learning how to use Articulate Storyline, check out all of the links down below for all of my Articulate Storyline resources and how-to videos. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click those like, subscribe, and bell buttons to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join me inside the eLearning Designers Academy where we focus on helping new instructional designers and e-learning developers grow their careers by focusing on skills first. Otherwise, my name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.